Okay, well here's a, an update on my non-stop running devices at uh, one and a half years. And uh, I started this project about a year and a half ago when I inherited this house. Uh, I brought a lot of my projects up to this house and I set them up on this uh, windowsill here and let them run. And then I come up here once a week or so and check the house and then uh, check on these projects. And um, these are some of these things that I've done in the past. You can look in my video files and see uh, all the information on them, on all these different little projects here. And um, this is the one right here that anyone who's interested in perpetual motion machines um, ought to take a hard look at. Uh, this is Laser Saber's Easy Spin Motor. It was 3D printed. Uh, he sent me the parts. Uh, to finish it up and I finished up the motor and uh, this has been running non-stop for a year and a half and uh, if people know me I don't lie about this stuff this is uh, this is not perpetual motion um, it's gaining its energy from a um, about a 9 volt uh, solar panel uh, with indirect sunlight in the morning and then it runs through the day and then all through the night and the uh, power storage device is a pair of um, 2.7 volt 6 farad supercapacitors. And that's what's getting the job done. Uh, the circuit is that circuit right there, which you've seen many, many times before. On his motors, he just uses a reed switch, but um, my reed switch has had a tendency to stick. So I went to that electronic circuit right there. Um, this is another one that's been pretty darn successful. It's running on a, a supercapacitor. Um, and then there's other ones along the windowsill here that are, are similar in, in design. Uh, this one here has a pair of alkaline batteries um, with that very low amperage draw motor that's been pretty successful. Now, of all the ones that I've put up here and, and shown running over the course of time, um, this is the only one that people ought to take a really hard look at. Um, and you can go to Labor Saber's channel, and he's, uh, he's got these things refined even better than this right here. Um, these other ones uh, that I've got running here, they have stopped uh, occasionally over the course of the year and a half. And the reason they've stopped is bearing wear. And it has to do with friction on the bearing that caused these things to stop running. Uh, this one here didn't. It's a sapphire jewel bearing with a steel needle running in the sapphire bearing. But anyway, um, this is just an update on my little projects here. I'll take you around to the other one. It's uh, the yearling motor. And uh, it was supposed to be running for a year and a half on a uh, AAA battery. There's the AAA battery. That has stopped several times due to bearing fill, bearing wear. The battery was fine, but the bearing wear stopped that. And that leads up to this latest project that Laser Saber is working on and I'm working on that is using pyrolytic graphite. And he has a levitated uh, um, bearing that he's, he's making a motor right now to get rid of the friction on his easy spin motors. And that's why I'm so interested in this is uh, I've got some of that pyrolytic graphite ordered. Uh, this has a weak uh, tendency to do that. And uh, I've been uh, playing around with it, doing different things with it. But um, it's the bearing wear and the bearing friction that is causing my long time running motors to stop. And that's why I am interested in uh, investigating uh, this um, pyrolytic graphite. Thanks for watching.